Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to tell you how to find locations for your car photography. Um, I've been trying to find locations for my car photography for about three months now and once you build up a stock stockpile of locations you know like when you get clients you can tell them right away okay come here at this spot like okay no go here so you already know where to go so that you don't waste you know the clients time and your time so the first look the first type of location I'd recommend you find is um, local parks um, chances are you have a park near you and those parks are usually um, very dense with trees um, it has a lot of shades um, generally speaking very nature vibe type of location so it just happens that parks have a lot of trees and you can position a car in a way that it looks good at the trees in the background so just do a very simple Google search um, on parks near me and just go to those parks either ride your bike or you know drive your car there and um, figure out where you can you know position the car and so that you don't include people in there but at the at the same time you have a good enough location where you can include all the trees in the background and get a good shot without including people because people might be an issue when it comes to parks so keep that in mind and try to search local parks and um, go there in advance and figure out how you can position the car um, the second type of location I'd recommend is um, cool buildings so basically there are a lot of buildings that look good um, based with certain type of car let's say it's like a for example Toyota Corolla um, the new ones they're very like a, they're very urban um, they're simple and they they're very popular in cities so I'd recommend you find city buildings that have a very industrial vibe um, let's say maybe a brick wall or like a, like those red brick wall or maybe a very cool architectural building that has a nice design and it works very well with the angles like the new Corollas are very angular and very aggressive so those angle type of buildings might work very well with you know cars like that so try to look for buildings that look cool by design and um, do a simple Google search on you know let's say medical buildings or uh, like a law firm or maybe like a school that has a very nice wall behind it so you can position the car there and get a very nice shot so do a simple Google search or you can just drive around your city or ride your bike and that way you can search out a lot of cool buildings that you can position a car in front of but do keep in mind um, try to take their business hours and into account because you can't go there when there are other people around so try to do it in a way that you don't infringe on other people's time but yeah so that's the second spot cool buildings in general um, work really well with cars like that um, the third location would be churches um, so I live in Florida and in the churches in Florida are very uh, nicely designed I would say you know different from the regular type of design that you see like the box buildings and things like that churches are very different here um, they you know do a lot of design work and put on, put in a lot of effort into designing these churches so it kind of ties in with the second point um, churches tend to be very architectural and more design motivated because it looks beautiful and people want to go there more often if it's beautiful so try to look for churches and um, also take their you know business hours and like the times the churches are open take that into account and try to look for churches like do a simple Google search on churches near me and then go there in person in advance before you have a client so you can figure out how to position the car and get the shot as quickly as possible um, the fourth location would be finding lakes so the the way this works is that lakes tend to be in a area where there are you know lots of open space and the reason you want to do that is because uh, lakes though that open space allow you to get a clear view of the sky so it really works well with um sunset shots because that open sky gives you um access to the sunset colors and if you don't have an open space th those sunset colors get blocked by trees buildings etc so lakes tend to be in a position where there are a lot of open space so try to find lakes in your area like big lakes um, not the neighborhood ones because the neighborhood ones tend to be very small and there are houses around so that might be a problem for the house owners they don't they might not want you there so try to find a lake where it's kind of isolated uh, and then try to find a position where you can bring a car in 
uh, and take photos and try to find the lake where the sun kind of sets across the lake. You know what I mean? Like the, you're standing here and the lake is right there in front of you and the sun sets um, on the other side of the lake. So that way it gives you a better shot because the sun acts like a backlight and the color looks very well when it when you actually have to shoot the car. Um, because it's not going to burn out the car, the highlights are not going to be overblown. So try to find a lake where it's open, you can position a car and the sun sets in the back of the lake. So that way it's going to give you the best shot possible for sunsets. And the final type of location is back of stores and warehouses. So what I mean by back of stores is that, um, let's say they're your local Walmart, local Target. There are, chances are those places need a place where uh, the trucks come in, the big uh, 18 wheelers, like they come in and you know they bring supplies in and take supplies out. So those places generally have a place where the trucks have come in and in you know, a dock. So those docking stations can work very well with your car photography because sometimes those docking stations have you know trees around it and some nice walls or um, the way that the trucks come in, you can use the angles like the way that the walls go through like a like goes all, all come in and merge at one point like that line you can utilize those lines to work well they work really well with certain type of cars um i just shot a you know toyota pickup uh, 1994 i believe toyota pickup in one of those spots and i can really frame the in the truck i can really put the car in a position where i can frame it in a way that it looks good with the car so what happens was there was two um containers side by side um like the trucks just left those containers and what i did was i put the car in the middle and used those two containers as like a frame point to you know have the car in the middle and two containers on the, on both sides so it kind of makes for a good competition so keep that in mind but i would not bet on this because sometimes you might run into security problems like they might kick you out so go with this option with a bit of caution so because you know the, the store owners might not want you there so that's understandable so back of stores where the you know trucks come into dock that's the spot and warehouses so the warehouses the way the warehouses work is like all those in you know, a docking stations it's kind of like the back of the store point so those docking stations are for trucks and um, you can position a car in front of those docking stations and it looks very cool uh, so like one of my favorite car photographers, The Car Creative, um, check him out, I'll put the link in the description. He actually did a photo shoot with a Mercedes Benz in front of those docking stations in a warehouse. And it looks very good because um, those docking stations provide like a very interesting background and it looks very good in photos. So try to find warehouses near you and uh, position the car in front of the warehouse docking stations. And it looks excellent with those um, with those type of locations but one more thing um, these warehouses sometimes have nice walls so that also kind of ties in with the urban city vibe these walls like what on my Instagram there I did a photo shoot in a warehouse and there was this brick wall that looks very um, like the, those rocks and rock climbing like the very rough surface th there was a wall like that and there was like a the tin buildings like the building had like a um, like a tin, like the way that the tin surfaces look. So there's another industrial vibe going on with that wall in the background. So I did a photo shoot there and it looks good in photos. You can really edit photos to your liking with those type of background. So warehouses and back of stores really work great. Um, then churches, lakes, and local parks. So these are my main locations that I try to look for when it comes to you know finding a location for a car so I really hope you enjoyed this video and leave a like um, subscribe and leave a comment if you think these locations are you know like if, if these locations work for you and let me know how you think about these locations when you actually do a photo shoot there 